Yo, what's up, it's your boy Fal here. Welcome back to a Crusader's Quest. Today we are gonna take a look at the last set of the Star Children, Living Time Heroes, Leonia and Skadi. So yeah, let's have a look at Leonia first. So let's have a look at her artwork real quick. But yeah, really cool. Real nice. I really love that great sword design. Reminds me of a legendary great sword from Guild Wars 2. You got the sun in her chest, very cool. Alright, let's have a look at her block skills. Caliburn, the lightsaber, okay. So she does deal neutral damage equals to 200, 350 and 500% of attack power. According to the number of chains and guide of starlight is the passive. And when pushing the hero's block skill within 5 seconds after an ally pushes a block skill, inflicts neutral damage equals to 200% of the hero's attack power every 0.1 seconds for 1 second okay when using guide of starlight transforms to avatar of ananda by fusing the dragon jade nanda this cannot be cancelled okay takes damage for allies after the transformation receives 10% more damage and becomes immune to stuns Okay, Avatar of Ananda cannot receive the heal effect because the law of the world does not apply and receives physical damage equals to 5% of attack power per second. So she receives self inflict attack damage, physical damage? Okay. And for the SPW, if the enemy who is damaged by Guide of Starlight and Sea of Dirac is receiving the shield effect okay the damage being inflicted increase of 60% wow knocks enemies damage by guide up starlight and see a bear into the air oh okay this is gonna knock up when the 10th damage is received while in the avatar of ananda state the hero recovers oh okay so hp equals to 100% of their maximum hp wow okay inflicts neutral damage equals to a thousand a thousand percent attack power to surrounding enemies and transforms into blazing leonia whoa so for blazing leonia becomes immune to stuns increases attack power by 100 percent and increases critical damage by 400 percent guide of starlight changes to sea of dirac and when using the block skill inflicts neutral damage equals to 1000 percent of the hero's attack power every 0.1 second for one second so it's like an aoe oh wow that's actually really strong Okay, we shall uh, check her out later on and see how that actually works. There seems to be a lot of uh, a lot of mechanics on her. So, wow. Okay, now her crit chance is above fifty percent. So I've just given her a critical chance for the weapon and double attack power. So pretty much a um, glass cannon build for her, and she is maxed out on everything. So yeah, that's the maximum stats for her um, inheritance and now let's have a look at Skadi now she is only i36 because I've run out of books unfortunately so let's have a quick look at the illustration real quick that's actually really cool so I'm not sure if that's her on the white or that's a different person like uh, she's, well she's a dark one obviously so yeah not too sure but yeah for her I've just given her double of the damage reduction so she's more she's basically a tank like proper tank so she doesn't really you know do much damage she was more about debuff um, and tanking as well so all right let's have a look at her block skill deep wave a wave of shadow rises in the front and sweeps enemies inflicting neutral damage to 300 500 and 800 percent of attack power according to the number of chains mirror image passive is a support type the start of the battle the hero increases sp by 80 and cannot be pushed back okay hero special skill changes to mirror image and that grants mirror image to the enemy with the highest attack power five seconds if used again while in effect the target remains the same and only division reset okay the enemy in the state receives neutral damage equals to 500 percent of its attack power one second after it inflicts damage to the hero's ally, this damage ignores evasion, critical damage, and effects of taking damage to others. Oh, okay, cool. And for the SBW, when enemy's mirror image state is manifested for 6 seconds, it's, it is enhanced to Fata Morgana. Okay, this effect lasts for 10 seconds. And they've also added a mirror image... Wait. 
Okay, if the enemy is affected by mirror image or bottom we're gonna hero takes damage for all allies. Okay, and yeah, damage reduced by 40%. And if there's enemies affected by Fata Morgana or killed while in the mirror image state, Skadi's running are in crouch and Abyss is activated. Okay. So Abyss reduces armor penetration and resistance penetration of all enemies within the range of 2000 and inflicts 61% more damage for 10 seconds. The duration of this effect resets when mirror image is activated. Oh, okay. Very cool. So she can tank for us and reflects damage back to the enemy, which is really good. And of, of course debuffs them as well, so their um, resistance is lowered. So, Alright, we'll have a look at them in the uh, Colosseum. So I'll just use both of them, because I don't have much um, tickets, <laughs> unfortunately. So I've just got them both, and Jeronica, our favorite shield producing hero. So again, um, we're versing Mr. Dimat it's in the Silver League. So he's using the meta at the moment. Rolando, Noel, and I think that's Hikari. And wow, well, actually, actually did really, oh, look at Leonia's damage. Oh my gosh. And Scuddy did, yeah, real well too. So yeah, you're really strong for Colosseum. And for the challenge mode, the only issue with Leonia is she gets stuck. So we need someone to push her along. So of course we got Zahad and Dara. Because Dara actually pushes the entire team forward. Not, not by a lot. But um, Zahad won't just teleport you to the very um, front of the enemy. So yeah. We get a little bit of heals from Dara and Zahad can just teleport us when um, Dara is not teleporting us forward as well. So, And of course Leonia has taken care of the damage. So really strong. Yeah, her damage is really strong but yeah, she does get stuck at the very back. Just casting her skill. Pretty much the same as um, Nebula. So we need someone to um, push her along. So like this one here, just get stuck. And they won't actually use any of the blocks till she's close enough, so... Yeah, could have been very, you know, way faster, but yeah, it's gonna take about a minute to actually get into the uh, Beast Warden. But yeah, that DPS from Leonia is just, yeah, burst damage really strong. So she does lose the effects from her Greatsword, and it's infused on her instead, so... She becomes like a wing of some sort. It's really cool. Really cool animation. But yeah, a minute and a bit, so it's not too bad. Burst damage really good, but yeah, she just gets stuck at the very back, unfortunately. And of course, for Skadi, we shall use the uh, limited time heroes as well. <laughs> we got Kaide and, of course, Child for DPS. So it's actually really good for um, her skill to tank people and reduce their resistance. But yeah, she's mostly for use for Colosseum, but she's still viable for um, PvE as well. Just a tank. But yeah, Shard just destroys these guys. Probably one of the best, if not the best, PvE. Live to time heroes. So if you got child, definitely level her up real strong. Jan Byom trying to hide in the shadows, but yeah, it's just not enough. But yeah, really good. Both heroes are really strong. But yeah, the only issue with Leonia for PVE is um yeah, she needs someone to push her forward. But yeah, overall not too bad. Um but yeah, they've got their own specific sort of area. Um it's not as you know, uh, versatile as um, Child or Kaide, obviously. But yeah, overall, really good heroes. And yeah, thank you so much for watching, Captains. Hopefully, you guys are having fun. And yeah, sorry it's a little bit late for this one. We uh, do have, I think, the limited time here. Oh, I think it's finished now. We had Rano and Olga, the penguin, and the little dinosaur chick. And oh, we actually got. 
uh, set of heroes that was revamped recently so I shall check them out for the next video um, yeah I think some of them were revamped before but I guess they were not strong enough so I think they had to revamp them again and yeah we shall have a look at them see how strong they are now in the PBE maybe some Colosseum as well so yeah thank you so much captains for your unyielding support as always and welcome to all the brand subscribers and yeah thank you so much guys really appreciate it and yeah if you haven't yet subscribe it's free and yeah keep uh keep you updated for what's going on and yeah i'll try and do some more apex and hopefully a bit more drifting videos and yeah we shall see where we go from there oh and yeah a little bit of lost arc we're actually strong enough to uh get to the next area after um the beach one the island punica after punica so yeah keep an eye on that one as well captains and maybe a bit of monster hunter i've still got a few monster hunter footage so yeah thank you so much and yeah i shall see you all next time stay safe out there and yeah good luck have fun captains all right bye bye